and welcome to the Verge Cast from CES 2012 day one. Are we day, day one. one? Finally day Officially one. Officially day really? one. Really? We made it. No, we it's made here. it. I'm alive. Uh, I'm Josh Topolsky. I'm Paul Miller. I'm Neil Patel. And I'm Joanna Stern. Yes. <laughs> the morning, oh, the yes. morning news yeah. team. The <laughs> Las Vegas morning news team. <laughs> and we are here from uh, beautiful downtown <laughs> Las Vegas. Yeah. Sunny out. Right on the Sunset Strip. <laughs> where, God, where, that joke just never right, <laughs> on on uh, Midtown, New York. Yeah. Uh, no, we're I mean, Midtown, New York, uh, the fake the Midtown, New York. New York. Well, I'm in Paris. New York, New York. Yeah, we're we in New York, We should do this from different casinos and just be in different We're places. here from beautiful Bo- the Bellagio mm. on the Sunset Strip What's the one with the, f- with the fake sky? I really like that Oh, that's one. the Venetian. Uh, it's the Venetian. Venetian. Dude, yeah. where it's got like I was fake there, I was there tonight. I was there tonight, and it is truly... Awesome. It's awesome and really surreal. Yeah. When you're there at night. They have the gondolas. Yeah. Yes, they have the like, gondolas, but but just the awesome. sky effect. Mm. Uh, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, there's a, a hotel here in Las Vegas that has um, fake sky. I think they even have fake clouds. Yeah, it's yeah. fake clouds. And it's, it's fake Venice, it's right? Fake Venice. It's yeah. fake Venice, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like it's Let me be more specific. It's, like, <laughs> it's got, a, it's got canals. <laughs> it's got a canal. It's got a there's little. Pasta. There's it's got, it's so it's got a little there. Caesars. It's, it's slowly, it's it's slowly sinking into the ground. Yeah. yeah. I was walking. The Leaning Tower Pizza is nearby. Yeah. It's and the Leaning Tower Pizza has a Domino's in it. No, but what I say? I said I got in the car today and I said to Chris and Michael, our editorial assistant. I said that um, Las Vegas is like one big cheesecake factory. And if you really think about it, that is exactly what Vegas is like. Because there's so many things on the menu. No, because everything is phony. So much cheesecake. Everything is fake. Yeah. It's like fake bricks. I think like yeah. Cheesecake Factory. And there's also a lot of cheesecake here. Cheesecake Factory has so much Anyhow, on the menu. we are we are <laughs> live. We are live on the official I'm really just puzzling through the <laughs> We're live on the official no first day right of now. CES uh, and we are um, we're, we're at the Sony booth right now. So your contention is so, the Cheesecake Factory is completely somebody just, overlooking. Somebody just yelled. No, he meant Cheesecake. I think that was Carmen. Was that Carmen? Uh, I was thinking that. Right. Anyway. Was that Carmen yelling? I don't know. No, it was uh, Howard Stringer. Oh, Howard Stringer. <laughs> Howard Stringer was yelling like a woman on stage. Here. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Anyhow, we're actually, we're on the show floor. We're at the Sony. It's the broadcast tower. I think that's what they're calling We're at the Sony broadcast tower. Wow. And um, I'm, not made it. I'm not afraid to say that it's fairly dope. Yeah. Uh, Sony has a lot of money, apparently, <laughs> and they have spent it on a beautiful... Yeah. And by the way, we're not sponsored by Sony, but I will yeah. say this is a beautiful... They're just being nice to us. I just want to stay here. <laughs> I don't want to go back to the trailer. Sony's and, trailer and is when I get home, I want to buy all of their products. I'm going to get a Sony Blu-ray player, no question. <laughs> but uh, we're here on the, the first day of CES, oh, yeah. to, and we're going, to, we're going to talk about... Do you mind? Do you mind? We're going to talk about uh, consumer electronics. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to talk about technology. We're going to talk about... I would put our chances of talking about those things at like 50%. And that's why I would put our chances of... I'm, dr- I'm drinking, in case you're wondering. <laughs> uh, last night after the podcast, the Verge cast, if you will, yeah. I broke my New Year's resolution to not drink. And... I believe how it's did, January how 10th. How did it feel? It felt amazing. Oh. Uh, when the alcohol started coursing through my, my body, today. I yeah. knew it. Um, I could just I just said to myself, "This so is this is today. where I'm supposed to be." Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and I haven't stopped <laughs> drinking since. Uh, it's, been anyhow, a, it's been a good day. It's yes. been a good day. No, but let's so let's get into the news. We should talk about the news. Joanna, you did a ton of stuff today. Yeah, uh, I you know I actually spent the entire day with Intel, and I think that's like kind of what the news was today. There hmm. were some other things. I think obviously. Intel was the biggest Lots news. No, no, there was but other today news today. Today was a really no, big day But I think Intel. today was the biggest news of today by far yeah. was yeah. Intel's phone stuff. They showed off, what, one phone, the Lenovo phone, and then they got the and Motorola. And they they're prototype Motorola. time. And a, they have like a... Yeah, yeah. Intel showing a prototype phone <laughs> yeah, I know. is okay, like... So right. can you uh, explain... Don't, don't make me go down this road. <laughs> can you explain <laughs> right. what they announced? Yeah. So they announced Medfield, which has actually been announced, but that it's finally like coming to times. phones. And by the yeah, way, like it's very dry times. in Vegas. I'm just going to put some lip balm while you're talking about Medfield. Go ahead. Now go on. It's you're just really, deal. you're getting ready for it. Weird. This ready. is weird. He's preparing ready to his talk. lips yeah. to talk about oh, that's Medfield. Good. Medfield, go. Uh, so yes, they talked about Medfield, but they talked about like a million times. But yeah, they're right. finally ready to ship it in phones. Like Paul Adelini came out during the press conference and was like, it is ready for phones. We're going to be in phones. Intel's They've been talking be about phones. Medfield for what, like three years? Medfield's for been a year. They yeah. had the Morristown phone, which never came out. Oh, right, Morristown, Morristown never came yeah. out. Is that the thing we're trying right. to think of? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, yeah. Is this, I mean, they said, here's the phone. This is going to be a shipping so device did, with so they Morristown. Did a few things. They first showed like their reference design phone, which is a 
pretty high-end phone in terms of specs. And like, this is what we're like showing people. This is what you can do with it. It's running Android. Okay. It's got Medfield. But that's like so they've that's been doing okay, that they've done that for, that for so years. Long. That's their okay. concept that will never ship. Yeah. That's the concept that will never, that will never ship. Then right. they had Lenovo come out. <laughs> what? I don't even. I don't. Hi, Trent. <laughs> hey, everybody. Trent, our podcast producer. What else happened at Lenovo? Then you Trent and, came you and out. Chad are now in a, and Trent a microphone was like, phone. I'm going to make a Why don't you turn it around phone? so it's it not It keeps on going lower backwards. and lower. There you go. How low oh, yeah. is it going to go? Why don't you put it on the other side, though? Oh, that yeah. looks pretty good, actually. Uh, okay. Bye, Trent. All right. See you, Bye, Trent. Trent. So, so they had another around. phone. They had another that phone? So then Lenovo weird. came out. Right. And oh, they now were your like, mic we are making a phone. We are going to be the first <laughs> Trent, to ship the phone. We got a problem here. <laughs> Come back. It fell off. I don't know. <laughs> this is going so well, Joanna. This is why Intel couldn't What's release happening? the phone. Intel couldn't release a phone because Trent kept coming on. This yeah. is truly the, the Moore's town of microphone placements. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, he's going to do it. Can you see anything? Go on. Oh, yeah, I, I can see fine. I got to go. Yeah? Keep going. Really? I, I yeah, can this only... is our problem. <laughs> Trent, I, I, can you come back? <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. He just took off, man. Can you hand us the glasses on the way back? I can't talk to Josh without glasses. Go on. This is I feel as if you cannot see this, me. I, I don't even understand. Are you going to climb up on here? Ball and then hat. <laughs> My God. Oh, look at Do that. Do you want to give Trent his hat back or are you going to keep it? Trent, you ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. All, right. All right, go ahead. So there was Hard another news, phone. Hard news, guys. There was another Hard phone. Hard news. I'm not done with Lenovo yet. <laughs> right. Well, she'll tell you about right, 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 right. They, they, there's the prototype, yes, and then, then there was a real phone. So then Lenovo came out. It's Lenovo. Lenovo came out. Lenovo. <laughs> Lenovo came out on the stage, <laughs> and they announced their phone, and they're going to be the first to ship a Medfield phone. It's going to go to China only, because Lenovo doesn't like to ship phones here. Wait, wait. So they Lenovo hates just, the U.S. Just, I think that's a known fact. Yeah. yeah. They, it's not called a phone. It's called the K800. That is the worst thing. Much catchier. Well, the Lumia 800, Lumia 900, down the K800. It looks like a nice a phone. Android we have a hands-on app about it. We, Lenovo, we like it. Lefono. Just think about it. So this, no, no. So, Lenovo, uh, so there's no indication that we're going to get um, a Medfield phone in the U.S.? Well, there is. Now that I'm getting to the next part. All right. This is, this is, I feel like excited. I'm telling a but story. Wait. I'm very excited. But there's wait, more. this is like a children's yeah. book. Yeah. Oh, let me show it to you here at my Transformer Prime. Oh, yeah, you love the Transformer Prime. Ice cream Prime. sandwich, guys. Yeah. Ice cream sandwich. I think Do you, you have mean, ice cream sandwich? I think you mean ice, no. yes. Do you get the update? He no. has, he has OS. He has OS. Well, it's Although not I as good think as my Apple's ice cream sandwich trying to update. Apple's trying to push a firmware up to, update to me, but the last one was really bad. So Yeah, a lot of fragmentation on that platform. So then, this was like, it was actually kind of shocking. Like. I think a lot of people at the in the audience were kind of like, "Why is Sanjay Jha showing up here?" And so he just Sanjay, has to wander around, though. Yeah, he was all around. Yeah. He, I mean, it's Vegas. It's late. He took the stage to announce that Motorola is going to well, they've signed a multi-device, multi-year deal with Intel. Mm -hmm. So they're going to bring tablets and phones with Intel's Medfield chip out of the next year, and which is they, huge. Did they mention any devices? They didn't mention any devices, it was just but vague. I did meet with Intel earlier. Zyboard in the day. too. Sideboard. <laughs> I met with Intel earlier the, in the day. The I wasn't as yeah, shocked medboard. at the Intel press conference because I kind of knew about it. Um, but I met with Intel earlier, and they said they're going to talk more about it at Mobile World Congress. Okay. But so let me ask you a question. So Motorola has been like pushing super thin, super, like obviously super thin. Yeah, Are you love your Razer. It's the best phone I've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have the Razer Max. You're going to love it even oh more. Oh my God. Now the Razer Max has a 3300 milliamp battery. Yeah. I that's just wish insane. I had one more. Yeah, that's, in, in that's insane. Well, uh, that's what I'm 3300 is like Miller more than double everything. M A X X X or maybe X X L. I wish well, it was no, M A dot I mean, X like, X X. These are the questions. Oh, that's pretty good. If those Max. phones are like Motorola's like Halo phones, flagship phones, yeah. are they going to be able to build those phones with Intel? Because they can the question. clearly do them with ARM. The, the question, I'm not worried about the speeds. Like I, they, whatever I saw today, like looked like pretty fast. It was, off, it was running stock Android, so mm. you really don't mm. really know. But the big question is ICS? battery life. No, it's running 2.0. Well, and this, but they this, said ICS update is coming. Oh yeah, <laughs> this Lenovo. Phone. I got I love, it, guys. I'm living the, the dream. I love the coming the, ICS This update. Lenovo phone, like uh, you, we got hands on, and, and this is not the thinnest phone ever. No, no, and neither is uh, the references. It's on. chunky. Right. Yeah. Right, both are chunky, and they said the like we can we can yeah. get as yeah. thin as I mean, arm. Yeah, that's cool. Like they really? were, yeah. Thank but you. I don't know if they believe that. <laughs> they hope 
the help. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. We're having our own podcast. Another yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. I want to have a Samsung very serious music <laughs> Oh my God. Wow. Wow. We're going to rival you guys. We're wow. in the LG booth. We're going to yeah. have yeah. a way better skin than you guys. Yeah. Nah. Are you, is that racism? I think it is. That was ant- fragmentation. Is it better skin. I mean, think. Yeah. I think you should be very it's upset. Fragmentation is. I'm fine though, because I'm super white. <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, I was yeah, pretty along. excited about no, but, the news but, but because here's, honestly, here's why I don't excited. even know if I'm that excited. I'm just you know, happy that it, it happened. Is it because it, if, you're, exactly. if you're in this no. industry, you've been following but the fact that Are you Intel excited because Intel is finally going to bring something to market that's a smartphone, like a chip on a smartphone? Yeah. I also actually like. I have to say, for like consumer like appeal, there's something like. You know, they were showing some stuff working like with laptops and that sort of ecosystem. I think Intel could like sort of make a dent there. They have like their wireless display technology and they showed like swiping something to a TV <coughs> and they're now selling these TVs with wide eye in, in them. They're did did they mention wide eye on Medfield? They did. They, the Lenovo, they said might have, they had, would have wireless display. Might, w- or will. might would? It was the. Uh, CEO said we'll have wireless display. It was a little bit you okay. know, not best English, but well, we, we have it in the book. I mean, he, he said it. He said it during the live blog. I mean, I just uh, that's one conference. thing to say. Like, we'll make all of our chipsets play together. Yeah. But Wide eye is like one tiny feature of Windows laptops. Well, maybe there'll be some other stuff that do, people don't care about. NFC. They can put the NFC. So, with so the, they're already doing so, NFC. And, and I don't want to say wait because we're going to bring Chris Ziegler out here. But we actually had the chance to sit down with. Sanjay Jha and some other people uh, talk about what Motorola is doing. Yeah. And he talked about Intel. What did he and, say? And, well, he, you know, he didn't want to say, he couldn't say everything, obviously, that right. he knew about their relationship. But the indication that the vibe I got was that they're not so much interested in Medfield as they are stuff that Intel has down the road. My, the, the, the sense that I got was that they're very interested in the technologies that Intel is developing right now that uh, you're not going to see for a few years right. in, in phones or maybe a year or two years in, in mobile devices. But that, that stuff would be like leapfrogging what other people are working well, the, on. The and one, they're getting in now, like they're, they're opening. What, why are you giving me that look? I just Chris, what was the, what's the technology that he made reference there's to? There's 3D transistors. Yeah, 3D three, three oh, transistors. Remember, yeah. He was like, that technology we're very interested in and the roadmap looks really interesting down you know, a little further. So why out. sign something now? Because they want to be in there and partnering with them early on. Get on the so ground they get floor. Yeah. On the ground yeah. floor, yeah. so the they can see an explosive floor. growth also, in profits. Oh, I feel like I feel like <laughs> while well, they're owned paying, by Google. I feel That's like the weird thing about that. Right, right, right. It's, the question is, how does Google play into this relationship? Uh, I, feel, I think, I feel like I think Intel Google wants to be free of the stranglehold of uh, Qualcomm. See, I think it's money. Uh, of its TI, many, many, many. Samsung. Samsung. I think, it's, yeah. agrees with I think me. it's money. I definitely think it's money. Motorola is struggling, actually. Yeah, exactly. Right? I mean, cash rules everything around this industry. And There's Intel no has an insane that. marketing I would, budget. I would right. bet and, you and, and, that the Intel, next one is going to be HTC. And, yeah. Intel is like, like, look, yeah. we got we got to get these processors out there. And if you're a right. smartphone ma- manufacturer, like, look, these aren't thin right. enough. The power saving isn't good enough. Let's wait They're for the next it's on generation. Par, by the way. I forgot I've heard. I've heard. So the battery life is on par. They say it's on. Par. I've heard from sources familiar oh, sources? with the matter. Well, on par normally means worse. No, no, I, that's right. I was gonna say that I've heard rumors that it's it's not the performance and the battery life are not as good as the right. current Snapdragon. Uh, dual core, single core, or st- not, single just, core. not just Snapdragon, single but ARM, but arm hyper threading. Hyper Well, I mean. Okay, so so this is another thing that, that Motorola talked about was that the hyper threading was very significant and the dual core the multiple and cores are largely bs is, essentially is, is medfield I mean, that's, that's a big thing to say i mean right. motorola was like first on the dual core lt I mean, well i'm paraphrasing, I'm paraphrasing the indication i got right, was that hardcore huh hardcore that's probably the intel too that's pretty good um Ooh. but oh, the, i'm just saying the, i'm just saying the indication hardcore. i got was that Really the good. dual core, quad core You're race, really and everybody's been saying this, by the way, here at CS, that the dual core versus quad core and whatever is all essentially garbage. Yeah, that it really isn't about that. Maybe, well, we'll I mean, about that first. The, the interesting thing they've, For they've been doing with about, with um, with some of these ARM chips is having a really slow low power core yeah that's what Tegra's that doing right? that they can switch to right. yeah. for low power mode I think that's the much more interesting things like, things like email in, Intel, Intel I don't know does, what that means Intel just, does have some stuff it's, where it's, it's, it's dynamic yeah. and, and the, the, the it can clock right? the 
Intel can clock the cores down, like di oh, dynamically. Clock those cores. <laughs> clock the cores. Straight clock those cores. I don't know. All I don't know long. what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, Under clock? I don't know if that sounds Clocking threatening cores. or sexy. It's sexy. Yeah. It's sexy. It's sexy threatening. I don't know. In the desktop <laughs> processors, Intel can kind of Threaded. choose right. which no. speed the, its cores are running. Turbo mode, we should start a band called the Sexy Threatening. Mm. All right, we're I'm sorry, we're in the wrong field. Who's done I don't know. I think I think we have a conversation discrepancy <laughs> where Neil and I are able to have a separate conversation. You guys are so far this apart. This is the problem with four. I'm just gonna, because because who will you know Paul what? talk to after? Two's I company, mean, three's a crowd. Paul could talk to his imaginary four is friend. upsetting. Do you sometimes talk with your imaginary friend when I'm not on the podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You have another. It's called my rabid fan base. <laughs> It's I'm sorry, Chad's trying to give me some direction on camera. He what says you, we're doing great. We're doing That's great? That was a great, great job. What, what is the issue? Great. I you think wanna, we have to run a play now. No, I don't know. What do you do? I don't I mean, understand. What is that? It's definitely, all right. <laughs> what is going on? All right, Chad, thank you for that input. What is he going on? He wants us to go past second base on the third base. Oh, right. Let's oh, stop at yeah, third. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's talk about Ultrabooks. Ultrabooks. Okay, look, if the story of today was... Uh, Intel on phones. Do you want to talk about my ice cream sandwich tablet? No, okay. I want to talk about Ultrabook. Oh, Ultrabook. Let's talk about Windows PCs. What are those? Yeah. What are you doing? What are we, you doing we, there? This I is extremely know. strange. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, again, sexy or threatening? Who knows? Um, Ultrabooks. Good Intel point. on phones. I, th I find that threatening. I find it sexy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See? Who knows? I'm going to go now. Goodbye. Can you talk about Ultrabooks for two minutes? Ultrabooks Please are... I am so tired of Ultrabooks. What? Do you know how many Ultrabooks You're I've seen? You're a laptop seen? person. <laughs> Do you know how many Ultrabooks I've seen how in the many? past days? Name them all and tell us about them. I mean, maybe at least 10. <laughs> you, this is wow. You. How can you handle all those Ultrabooks? <laughs> how, how is it possible you can even take in so many Ultrabooks at once? That's a lie. Lenovo has at least 10 just on their own. Well, that, that's just like no. iteration. No. No, it's a so lie. So you're not excited about the Ultrabook? I am very excited about Ultrabooks. So, um, actually, you love laptops. Tomorrow, I do love laptops. It's a known so. fact about I, you. I yeah. do love them so if much. You had a, if, you had a, if you had a trading card, one of your factoids on the back would be that you love laptops. You know, love she didn't laptops. get a tablet until it looked like a laptop. This isn't mine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait to kill the joke. Um, so uh, well, today, problem. Dell announced a, an Ultrabook, which I like a lot. Um, that was the what only is Ultrabook what is it actually called? announced today. What is it called? The XPS 13. Yeah. Wow. Or the only important really Ultrabook. Really daring, daring naming scheme they've got. <laughs> yeah, there. I mean. Oh. Um, the double gear. So that's, that's like what what's been going on with Ultrabooks at the show is like there's sort of these different categories now within the Ultrabook category. So people are getting into lower end ones for like $900 or less. Some even around like $799. I and mean, this is like the PC market. Yes, I know. But it's yeah. it's spanning now to Ultrabook category. Well, because because right fun. right off the bat, like when they first showed them up at IFA, like yeah. none of them even broke a thousand. Right. Right. Yeah. They were like right around a thousand. So is this like more Intel subsidies? Here's my question. They didn't talk about that today at the at the press conference, but they talked about it yesterday. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they are. I mean, they were so talking Intel's about their thirty million dollar fund and all that sort of stuff. So, and I mean, Intel's just pushing this so hard. So is I this? Mean, let me ask you: Is this CS basically like Intel struggles for extreme relevance? Across the industry, right? Because they're pushing Ultrabooks well, as you well, don't need a tablet. I mean, you Intel's, can do all definitely, this stuff. Intel's definitely trying to um, wedge itself back well, into the yeah, they're into in the, the conversation. The, yeah, into the conversation. And I mean, exactly. of course, like people are talking about ARM and Windows 8. They like ha part like I would say half of the presentation when they were talking about Windows 8 and like what's coming with Ultrabooks today, they kept emphasizing like you're going to be able to run your old desktop apps on here. So they know like ARM is coming after So they're them. talking about Ultrabooks in the sense that they're future proof? Yes. Yeah. That's, I mean, it's strange. You yes. Know, like this, they, they mentioned it like a number of times. So, like you're going to be able to run that your desktop insane. apps. Like, you know, because they Intel know. This is Intel saying Yeah, this, Intel saying all it. Them all well, of your, Intel, your apps will work on here. They well, said that like a number of times. On Ultrabooks? That's, so that's going to no, be on their Windows they're, basically, they're basically hinting the desktop no, no, apps that, just won't true. work on Windows. Right. right. No, but on, Intel, on Intel, but not on ARM. Yeah. They're right. implying like when you get an ARM one, you're not going to be no, able but to but that, We know that's a fa for well, a no, fact. We know that's a fact, but Intel's making that their marketing. Well, they should They should be. Because it's all they have to cling on to at this point. Yeah. Is the fact that when you get an ARM tablet or ultrabook or whatever it right, is it will not run, run the stuff you paid for for intel for x86 but this is the same scare tactics we've seen with every big yeah. os change where they I go mean, like you it's not backwards compatible and you know i think there's like backwards compatibility is an overrated quality who wants to go backwards let's go forward 
You paid for Photoshop? F you. Pay for Photoshop you again. Would be, I would be upset. By the if way, I got, who like, wants to go backwards? Let's go forwards. Is like I've just switched. That should, that you should just walk around CS. Like yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be pissed. That, yeah. Why, the, would, you be, would you be pissed about what? Like I just had to switch my laptop a number of times in the last month, and if I wanted to switch to a new OS, and some of them didn't yeah. work. You know, if you're using an open source OS like Ubuntu, that wouldn't be a problem because <laughs> well, you can I, just download whatever you needed. Oh, are you using that now? <laughs> no, is I wouldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole. So do you compile your buggy? Your Ubuntu all day. I write my own. Applications and compile them for whatever system With, or, and whichever process, whatever, whatever, whatever architecture. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Michael just lost it. Yeah. Michael was like, <laughs> "Why? That was funny." He's here. like, he of all the things, like he's holding his face. He's turning yeah. red. I know. You just love that. So the, the thing, <laughs> the, the thing I don't, I don't get. Is GPL, I understand dude. Huge lulls. Right. I understand that Intel needs to, uh, you know, seal up this messaging and 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 scare everybody about going to ARM. But at the same time, shouldn't ultrabooks sell themselves? Wait, wait, ultrabooks no, 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 are hold just on. laptops. No, that's yeah, exactly they're right. But they're no, like no, no, the a laptops, regular person. I'm, I feel like people and have wanted. And this is just them for saying we're going to no, no, make no, laptops like later you. and later, and we want to destroy people, the people, old mainstream. Yeah, yeah, but, but, the, but the MacBook Air is probably one of Apple's best-selling computers of all time. The new yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. The current generation but what MacBook I'm Air. saying is, is like they're not just going after the air, and that's what I was trying to talk about. They're going after they're laptops. Going, they're going after laptops. They want to make mainstream right. ones, so like the right. ones that are like lower down, they're like and, thicker, and, they and they've they got optical. They don't drives. want you to say, and they don't want you to say, I want an ultrabook. They want you to say, I want a one of those thin laptops. Well, they want you to say ultrabook because they love that name so much. Stop interrupting me. Okay. They want you to say, <laughs> I want one of those thin laptops. And then your buddy says, oh, an Ultrabook? That's and exactly then, what they want you, you to do. And then you get in a car, you drive like the best And, you, and then you legally out. divorce they your buddy. They said this during the press conference. This was a <laughs> and quote. And you go and buy said, the laptop you want. It's not a laptop. It's an Ultrabook. That was a yeah. quote from the press conference. Yeah, but that's conference. just marketing bullshit. Okay? Also, well, they, 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 Will I Am said that Ultrabooks are the Will I Am is a puppet, an Intel puppet, okay? What are they? The new what? Did they play I Got a Feeling when Will I Am came on stage? Yes. yes. Go ahead. <laughs> he just like called it. Uh, it's obvious. <laughs> what, what did he say? The new ghetto, what's the? Blasters. Blasters. What? He said this. Will I Am said what? The, the new ghetto blasters. Ultra 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 is the new yes. ghetto blasters. Will I Am was on cocaine, <laughs> drunk, and also getting paid by Intel yes. to say whatever, that to is say true. whatever they <laughs> put it is on his script. Uh, that is true. Vlad got very mad because he said these have the worst speakers, and I don't know. <laughs> no, let's be <laughs> honest. Let's <laughs> be <laughs> honest. That's a load of shit. <laughs> okay, let's just let's just get two swears in one yeah. podcast. Yeah. I say, no, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to cut any. Sony booth? You know what? It, it's yeah. Can you? Swear Where, in this it's very Sony's pristine. raw. Sony's very raw. Yeah. They had Will Smith on stage the other day. Carmen. Carmen was on stage yeah. recently. Let's just talk about the celebrities I've seen. Anyhow, I just <laughs> want to say that, that, that that's been the highlight of my I, I don't want us to base our opinions of uh, the Ultra Books on what Will I Am said <laughs> on do, his though. script for Sony. So okay. are they going to be able to make. Oh, no, sorry, not for Sony, for Intel. The $600 Windows laptop, which I think is the dominant laptop like in the world, right? Mm -hmm. Is that going to be an Ultra Book next year? Probably. Definitely. Then, so, that, what is really Intel accomplished? But I do want to. I, I don't know. But I want to talk about some of the other ones that I well, like. Yeah. What, 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 what is Intel what are accomplishing? It, it'd be great. They're pushing the entire industry towards. I think they want. I think they want people to associate Ultrabook the way they think of MacBook. Uh, I think they want. They want to have a brand, a thing that they yeah. go like, "This is no, I mean, connected right. to Pentium, Intel. They had it's Centrino. a certain kind of PC." This is the next. This they, is right now, no, but, but, but Pentium and Centrino are from like the nineties. No, this is their next one. I get it. It's their trademark. No, right. But Ultrabook is is more. It goes beyond a processor. Right. It it it, it, it reaches into. No, I'm. I, popu I, they I completely want to, they agree. Brain in popular. That's Intel right. is right. spectacular at the... marketing these things. Intel inside Pentium. I mean, they, yeah. these are brands of people. And know. they want Ultrabook to be the thing. You say right. you go into a store and you say, I want an Ultrabook. Right. And you will definitely get an Intel machine. But the, you will not but get the, AMD. But, but the you truth. Of, but the truth of it is, based on what we saw today. Or sorry, not today, but the last couple of days. There are going to be a couple of regular regular laptops, and then everything else is going to basically be an ultrabook, because you don't need you don't you don't need to make the gaming PC anymore for the average exactly. consumer. You're making it runs Windows. It's great with IE. It's great with running you know basic gaming. Mm -hmm. Hey, we yeah. made a we made a Windows version of Cut the Rope or whatever, <laughs> you know. God, I've seen so many Cut the Rope. You know, demos. Office, great. You're boom. You're there. Mm -hmm. Right. That's enough. That, they don't need to. 
And they're talking about Ivy Bridge, which is going to have better graphics, so you're not going to have to get like a right. thicker laptop. So yeah, I mean, they, they strongly yeah, want to create this idea of, like, of the ultrabook as a thing. They've accomplished but, like they accomplished like that, a couple but, of years no, but, ago. Like, but, but my question, and I think when I say what have they accomplished, is they're just selling more laptops. Yeah. I don't think they're going to sell. What do you think it's Intel wants to accomplish? What do you think? It's this no, 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 yeah, no, no, no. Let me let me explain how this works. <laughs> when when Stop. Intel yeah, Intel yeah, puts finish, chips in the laptops, then then OEM sells the laptops. But there's always laptops. I mean, that's great. They did Ultrabooks. Oh, right. They're not they're not fighting this. They're not getting that. Well, that's like Medfield. The, that's the erosion, that's Medfield. That's what they're going to do. But. That's not Ultrabooks. That's what I, that's what I'm saying. This whole Ultrabook. Well, yes, actually, that field is not Ultrabooks. I agree with you. But so this whole initiative, all this money, all, all this effort. Ultra they're gonna pull, they're gonna put Ultra that tabs. Tra- they're gonna put Tab that books. towards tablets when they have the, the right chip. Tab books. So you're, no, but, but you're saying Ultrabooks are gonna turn but into I think, tablets. I think the no. reality is that it doesn't matter if Intel says we have a great processor for tablets because until Apple adopts until Apple adopts their great tablet architecture. Well, Apple's well not chips, necessarily so. Apple, no, but I know. But I'm, or, or, no, no. If, or if Intel pulls off like what they did with Ultrabook, where you they've got like four or five manufacturers ready to go with a great Intel powered no, tablet, but, and no, then but, they can but, start but, branding. No, it. but I, I disagree. Why would because the tablet replace the laptop? They don't think that's going to happen. It won't, what are you doing? Are you What's happening? What are you Ford's What's happening? Ford's Stop. Right. Um, a video started playing. Oh, I, I, I don't think I don't think you can bring up tablets to talk about what Intel wants to do with tablets and have it mean anything, because their business is right now. It's laptops. And, okay, so here's what I'm saying. That's a great business for them. Mm-hmm. And they're yeah. obviously moving. They're, they're trying to push that business. But I think overall in the industry, that business is diminishing overall. Laptops, right? Yeah. Well, and so yes. I still need a laptop. I think people will still need laptops. Well, but if you... It's a truck. If they you, need a truck. If, yeah. If, not everybody needs a truck. And if some you people ex- want a car. If you accept the some biggest people want growth... A some people need a motorcycle. And other people want to just use a scooter. What is a jet ski? But, or a, a jet ski goes on water. Why have we had this conversation? Water before? is a liquid. <laughs> liquid is available had this conversation in before. a variety of forms. Mostly just Gatorade, though. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get from and jet ski to Gatorade? Don't worry about it. Two Pedialyte moves, is also yeah. water. <laughs> Pedialyte? Yeah. All right. Uh, you know she's at that hungover. age, you know, when women start thinking about babies. Or when they're hungover Boom. and they drink Pedialyte. it. Pedialyte. I have a friend that drinks it when she's hungry. You know what? Let's be honest. Really You're thinking about babies. It's fine. It's no big deal. I love babies. I actually no, said in the OLPC XO post <laughs> that I do not, I am not pregnant. <laughs> what <laughs> is Stern. going on? Where's TMZ? <laughs> Stern is not pregnant. Oh, wait, you're not? Wait, 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 I wait. said that this wasn't meant for my children or my unborn children because okay. they're not. It's not okay. meant for well, children. Well, unborn here. means that you're pregnant, but they're okay. not born. And yet. then I put in parentheses, I am not pregnant. Okay. Well, then you shouldn't be using unborn, my unborn <laughs> children. Wait, what? It sounded wait, can right. We, can we quickly just unpack what you meant? If it's not for that your children. That the OLPC XO laptop, which is unborn. for Look, kids I think the, the clock the, is ticking. Uh, the tablet. For kids in the unborn, uh, I mean, the unborn child, the unborn world, the developing the world. In the unborn world? The kids in the developing world. My <laughs> kids are not going to live in the I, developing I, I, I world. I think what Joanna's saying, let me, she's oh, saying, the unborn she's children. saying, wait, she's, she's, she's one, the one who said, and her children are going to be pregnant. Right. Try, can I try to uh, paraphrase this? I mean, this? hopefully. Her children are going to have ultra books. I think Joanna's yeah, saying. Yeah, my kids are going to have ultra books, and unfortunately, kids in the other, rest of the world are going to have exo I think what Joanna tablets. is saying is. Not that it's a bad tablet. Wait, wait, unfortunately, they'll have exo tablets. Yeah, because they live in the developing world. World. That's, What's wrong that's with the tablets? Work. They're not. I mean, that's what they were meant for. They were built for that. What's wrong with them, though? There's nothing wrong with them. Well, then why did you say unfortunately? I mean, I wouldn't yeah. want one. Oh, so what's wrong with them? Yeah. <laughs> They're, I mean, they're Nicholas for kids. Ponte right now, by the way, is they're watching like, this live oh, stream. They're like, they're like this very book. He's they're, very they're, they're like the size of an encyclopedia. I think what so Joanne is trying to say pregnant? is, I am not pregnant. The clock I mean, I'm is pregnant ticking. with an okay? uh, Time is limited to make this thing happen. She's looking for a guy, the right guy. And I'm going to leave CES pregnant. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, Trent just is like fist pumping. <laughs> there's, there's literally like a large group of people here who are. Is who this are, an awkward conversation? It's incredibly no. awkward. I don't feel awkward. It's awesome, is what it is. I yeah. feel not awkward. You know what? This at all. I agree. I'm also leaving CES pregnant. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, We're not like that, though. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm going to find another guy. <laughs> what is going on? First no. off, you can't. I don't want you guys to do it unless think, you're legally married. I think we gotta stop. <laughs> and luckily, we gotta turn around, you know? 
we got to either get in a truck to commercial or a car. Right. And then Chris is going to get in a truck. We should get in a Ford. Just a second. Before we get to commercial, we did not get a chance to hear what Ultrabooks you actually like. Yes, I'd like to talk about that. Go ahead. Let's do it. What Ultrabooks do you like? What Ultrabook will you buy your child? Quiet. Go ahead. The Exo laptop. So you're no, no, seriously, no, no, seriously, your ultrabook picks though. Here. My ultrabook picks. So I really like four of them. It's kind of hard for me to pick. What is wrong with us that we just transitioned from talking about you guys doing it and getting no, pregnant? No, I never talked about us doing it. To you, is your dirty mind? Is it? Yes. Yeah. Is it my dirty mind, everyone, or was that what they were talking about? Yeah. Okay. You. Okay. Can we go put ahead, a camera on ahead. Sam real quick? Joanna. He has no credibility. Look yes. at your hair. Yeah. <laughs> Not now. It's too soon. <laughs> okay, Joanna. <laughs> St- <laughs> Joanna. Ultra Gross. B- Stern. Yes. Ultra Book Picks. All right. I'm going to name four. We're going to have something up on the site tomorrow with okay. some more picks. Yeah. He, he, pro- can, can you name one and then say your standout about each one? Yes. Go ahead. One great. word. I'm very excited. Yeah. You can say no, like a phrase. Just do it. All Three right. words. For the cheaper one, it's mm-hmm. not that cheap. It's $9.99. The Dell XPS 13. I like it. It's Seems like What's a good What's the screen resolution? Yeah, you're not going to be happy with that. 1366. Yeah. Get out of my face with that. I know. I know. But it's it feels nice. Go on. All right. Second one, a little bit more expensive, Series 9, good resolution. The Samsung. What's the cost? Is that it? Ultrabook? It's 13.99. Can I just say one? Can I just say Mac uh 13-inch MacBook Air like fully spec'd out? Yeah. Is like what? That's pretty expensive. 14? 17? Yeah, it's like 17. I'm yeah. just saying the Series 9. Eh. Think what, it are the specs? At what, are the t- what are the specs? Core i5, 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gig SSD. So the so the spec'd out MacBook yeah. Air 13 is Core i7, 256 no. SSD. Yeah, yeah, it's Core i7, the yep. Core 256, i5, and 4, 4 gigs gig of RAM. 128 starts yeah. at 13.99. Yeah, it's the same price. They're going right, toe-to-toe. Right, keep going. Toe-to-toe. And what do you like toe-to-toe. about it? Toe-to-toe. What do you yeah, like about it? Yeah, the series nine. It I mean, feels really nice, really thin. How's the trackpad? The trackpad is a little bit better than the first one. It, I, I haven't played enough. There's nothing that gets your juices flowing like the trackpad is a little bit better than the first one. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not MacBook Air quality. That's, what is, I'll what say is, that. What is the trackpad MacBook, or the what machine? Is, the trackpad. What is, what is MacBook Air quality? The MacBook Air. What else? In terms of trackpad, still, I don't think still anything. Still not even yeah. Can we just CEO? say Joanna into PCs? Freely admits, I will say, not a single yeah. trackpad up to snuff with the MacBook Right, trackpad. and something I'm going to write also is like how much better Windows works on uh, Air. Like the touchpad works perfectly fine with Windows. So really? Apple's doing something great with the hardware, mm. and I don't know what's going on. No, on the drive, I mean, they make the drivers. Continue yeah. though. Let's see okay, we did the Series Nine. This, I, I mean, the, I really like the Envy, the Envy the 14. Spectre. Yeah, I mean, it is thick and it is heavy mm. because there's glass all over it. That makes no sense to me. Hey, you know, cool. you know, you know the best way to protect something? Gorilla Ra- glass. Wrap it in glass. Yeah. Gorilla glass. Wrap it in glass. Gorilla. Is that the same glass that breaks when you drop an iPhone? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, the iPhone doesn't have gorilla glass. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. On the back. I they had their own, like, No, it's gorilla Steve glass. Jobs. On the back, it, it is, It's too? improved, and it's gorilla glass. It's in the book. It's Steve in the book. Jobs yeah, it's in the book. I didn't read the book. It's, it's gorilla glass. Read the book. Basically, Apple. I don't, have, I don't have a large enough Dude. bag to put that book in. One anyway, I think well, it's a really it cool laptop. Well, get it on ebook. That one is on also $15.99, <laughs> and I really like that. I, I just like has a lot of cool stuff in it, and the display is awesome. 1600 by 900, yeah. Radiance display, really nice display. So those those are the three? I thought there yeah. was four. Yeah, and then four. the fourth four. is like not really an Ultrabook. It's that uh, Lenovo Yoga What about the thing? Vizio? That thing is really weird. What about the Vizio? I didn't you know see I... the Vizio. You liked it. That has the 1600 by the high-res screen. The Vizios have high-res. 16 by 9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm all over that. Yeah. Um, the Vizios, I don't think we can like... We, it's really interesting. They did a good job. They right. feel nice. We don't Until know if they're coming. I, like we use the keyboard. And like they're coming out. I mean, yeah, they're not coming I'm for not really. They're I don't coming out. You they think they're coming out? out? Yeah. How do you know? I know for a fact. What? Instinct. <laughs> Wait, what's coming out? <laughs> I mean, laptops. I don't trust them. I, I mean, we never saw their phone. The phone phones are the hard. The tablet was really yeah. bad. Laptops are easy. No. But the laptops on the market. Not anyone can make a laptop. Oh, really? Yeah. Not anyone? Not anyone. Have you ever been to China? Have you ever been to CES? Yeah, have you ever been to CES? I mean, we can make them, but they're not good. Mm. Well, that wasn't our question, was it? I think that the... I look. I mean... No, look, they put out the tablet because they didn't have to go through the carrier. They could not put out the phone because they had to go through the carrier. It's just too hard. Yeah. They told me they they took all their engineers and put them from the phone to the PC. I think PCs are coming out. My only reservation about it is that keyboard because it looks so insane. What about the touchpad on the... I mean, 
the, it was all wonky, but it's like yeah. they're free. It's they're really not, hard to tell. They're not coming out for six months. Also, when you're like doing a quick hands-on. Well, that's insane. Yeah, I mean, they, they said like May, yeah. June, somewhere in there. So I'll, look, I'll fault, I'll, I'll forgive them like a wonky multi-touch right. implementation during the demo at CS. They get honorable but mention. But when that thing comes out, yeah, I think it's fair. When that thing comes out, I mean, like we have to know if the keyboard is any good and if that trackpad works. Mm -hmm. But yeah. overall, it's like it, there's promise. On we that will, note. We, yeah. I have one, more. Yeah. Yeah, one more. And it's the Lenovo Yoga, which like bends backwards. Yeah, that thing's and really that's cool. like the future Why do you like Ultra that? Because it's cool. For, form factor Form innovation? factor is cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm and not going to. name. Awesome you know, name. You it know is kind I mean, you're loved. not going to want to have a keyboard. Like, I don't want to have this keyboard glued to the back of this tablet every time I use it as a tablet. Like, right. that is going to be annoying. Like, this is what it's like. So why do you like it? Because it's just cool. And Windows 8 works really well on it. I, I'm really excited about Windows 8. You know like what? How I, it, it's really, we works really Tom well. Yeah, 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 we should have Tom, Tom yeah. Warren come on, on tomorrow. He yeah. Should, yeah, I mean, we were, we've been playing with some Windows 8 stuff that we see. Well, he got, a, he, like, got a, he got a he got an awesome exclusive yeah. look at, at a, I mean, a new what, Windows 8 beta. Well, Joanna, what's, yeah, what's yeah, your a few what's your take there? on Microsoft like not not even caring about Windows? Like they're hiding Windows 8 at this show, basically. I mean, I think they. Well, it's are, not time yet. That's why they're bailing from the show. I think next month they but have a big month announcement. Next time, that's it's really time. soon. They don't want to ruin it right now. They yeah, want yeah. to be the focus at next month, and they're not talking about hardware anyway right now. They're not going to talk about hardware till the fall or end of the year. I mean, end of like first quarter. Well, I think what's really quarter. I mean, but and last year at this show they announced Windows on ARM. It was, I mean, it went. Yeah. It was, the it was, one of the worst announcements ever. <laughs> yeah, it was a fizzle. They had a pre-announcement. I will say and a, a, a year later. Right. I mean, a year later, that I think that announcement has like kicked in Intel like into gear. Right. They're doing all this sure. stuff. Well, yeah. But and, Microsoft and actually still has. I mean, they're like, here's some Windows 8. It's going to run on. And ARM. what's really fascinating you know, about show what's really it. crazy about that is that you know uh, we went to Qualcomm before the show, and we talked to Paul Jacobs, the CEO, and he was talking about that you know Qualcomm com now competing with Intel. Yeah. To directly. make Windows 8 devices, right. and now Intel's is reversing it and making. Totally. Android mm. device, you know, give me power Android device. I mean, I yeah. think I was talking to a, a crazy like flip. someone who I've known for a while at the at the Intel thing, and we were he started covering this industry when there were UMPCs mm -hmm. and mids, and I was like, it's it was, really it was Thomas funny. Ricker, wasn't it? It wasn't Thomas Ricker, but it was <laughs> in the seventeen eighties. It was it was <laughs> Steve Payne, uh, Chippy, and he used to cover like mids yeah, yeah. and UMPCs, and I was like, basically, this is like Intel coming full circle, just realizing it had to put a phone, and that they were too early. Like, they had to make a phone early on. I think you're being a little apologetic on their behalf. No, I mean, I think Intel knew that, like, well, mobile like, was a thing. They Intel just didn't know just, what... Intel just, like, took too well, long if, to get here. If, if, and if, well, they also didn't have the technology and, right. or the idea. If it took ARM, too long. If ARM did, coming, but, you know, Intel owned an they ARM. They made the They owned Xscale. Right. They had right. an ARM license. And they blew it. They, yeah. they sold it to But they were talking they about these totally portable internet devices and, like, like they had little right. app things, and they were showing all these yeah. things a while ago. They just didn't know how to do it right. Then you're right; they didn't have the technology. Well, they all got like two hours of battery. You know, you can't execute. Get out of my face. <laughs> all right. On that note, I'm going to get out of your face. We right should now. take a break, Joanna. <laughs> thank you for uh, being here. Yes, I'm, I mean, even though we're with each other 24/7. Yes. I mean, not us, not you and me. Yes. The yeah. group. I know. Don't worry. Anyhow, but uh, I'm going to go you'll with be my back. unborn. You'll be back before my we... unborn child with. No. You're gonna go I'll have, come back on the podcast with my strip. baby. You're going to go find a father for with that With my child. Bieber baby. <laughs> we'll be I, back. I think we know. <laughs> I, I know and tomorrow's your Bieber day. Tomorrow I'm meeting oh, yeah, Bieber. Justin Bieber. Everyone Bieber out day. there, Bieber. I'm meeting tomorrow. Justin Bieber. I don't know where I'm talking. Anyhow, we're going to take a break. You're talking to Jacob, apparently. We're going to, we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. With Justin Bieber. If we have it under embargo, do we need, we really, we really need is like to try to get a hands on or some real live pictures of whatever they're announcing. What are they announcing? So we're bringing an absolutely ton of people to see us. It's our entire team from around the world. We've got people coming in from the Netherlands, the UK, the West Coast, New York, Japan. We should request interviews with people that we think would be significant or interesting to get our hands on because we'll have a setup at the trailer. Please say a command. We have the best technology powering our site. Things like StoryStream and the video technology that we're using and our product database. We're really good at taking a lot of information, making it presentable, making it readable, and still showing you what's important. What really is gonna make the coverage great is that we have a staff, a big staff of really smart, really talented, very sharp writers that are putting these stories together, that are building narratives out of these stories and that can tell the stories better than anyone else in the industry. We're back. 
So, so actually, so the, have a baby the, um, I would love to have a baby. With I just want to say that the, 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 the thing we just saw is, you know, Ford is sponsoring us and they, they, yeah. we got an opportunity thanks to their sponsorship to shoot some behind the scenes stuff, yeah. which is really cool. And that was shooting. actually our planning meeting, by the way. Yeah, we were yeah. planning to, yes, oh. some of those shots yeah. where I was actually, you know, figuring out what we're doing here. But um, anyway, I, was, I just think it's very cool. Yeah. And it looks like a movie trailer. It no, really no, does. it looks like we're doing something really serious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. all we're doing yeah. is talking about Joanna having a baby at CES, <laughs> which is upsetting. It's a new developing world. Anyhow, Chris Ziegler is here, our, uh, one of our senior editors, senior mobile editor. Very happy I to be here. I thought you were going to start clapping so that and I was let's like, just Let's just, why not? Okay. Right. Why you don't clap for yourself? I'm clapping Stop for the, clapping for the, for the clap cast. For me. Okay. Clap for me. Yes. But um, <laughs> he's clapping for Chris Ziegler. A lot, lot of mobile right. news. <laughs> Where are we starting with this? What, what do we have? You, you guys had a meeting. So today. we had. A, so we had. Okay, that's good. That's what can I thought. I, can I just say one thing? Today was like a meetings day. Like we took a lot of meetings. There were meetings. We met with a lot of people. Were, there interviews. were uh, intimate gatherings. Yeah. There were uh, what I would describe Owls. as. I would describe them as pagan. You took like a long car ride to pagan the desert. rituals. Yeah. Uh, a, a dosing, a high dosing of acid, wow. yeah. uh, mushrooms, ecstasy, one I mean, on I one, have to PCP. Say, what you guys can't see uh, over here is one that one. there's I a like guy that. driving a vacuum cleaner. He's like a bony. This <laughs> guy's going <laughs> freaking blazing up and down the aisle. It's gas powered. It's an engine. Like he, you can see the gas. Burning. Like he's putting the hammer burning down out. on the just vacuum. Burning out. All right. <laughs> So we had a meeting uh, with Sanjay Jha, <laughs> the CEO of uh, Motorola Mobility. Yeah. And and there and was, Dan Maloney. And Dan Maloney. Yes. Who runs their home uh, home uh, con connected home connected stuff. home right. 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 Um, and and there were a handful of other journalists there, and uh, me and Sanjay got into it. Yeah. Dan Maloney's coming back. <laughs> but uh, but no, he said some really. I'll say this. He said some really interesting things. Uh, he was very honest, yeah. straight up on the record. Very candid. What's happening behind me? There's a Zamboni. <laughs> it's just blazing. I, mean, I think this guy's just messing he's with us. He's getting faster every time. I, think we're I, do, think, I do think he's messing with us. Yeah. Um, if I don't get to drive that thing by the time <laughs> no, I leave here, I will freak out. All right. That guy's high and drunk. Now, so you, got, you got 30 seconds before he comes back. I know, right? But, but, was but, we, but, but there were some really big things that he said, I think. Yeah. Yeah. He said, so I pressed him on the skinning stuff. and That really set him off. We, have, really we, have a quote. we published a quote. Yeah, I mean, yeah. What was the quote? I mean, so I said, you can do smart actions as an app. Why is it necessary to skin these devices? And he went, and by the way, I think was, was very clear about, um, I don't think he was upset about the question. He, Here's you, a, quote. You have a quote. Verizon and AT&T don't want seven stock ice cream sandwich devices on their shelves. Uh, we have to make money. And he, then he said, there's no way to make profit on a device that isn't differentiated. Yeah. The vast majority of changes we make to the OS are to meet the requirements that the carriers have. So, so, which the, is gist, insanity. so the gist of what he was saying, actually, was not that we don't want to release, you know, we, it's not that we don't want to release a stock phone. A lot of it was the carriers have, they need things put on the phone. They need to do their testing. And that's all, like, part that of that. that has nothing that's to all do part with, of like, the, well, like yeah, superfluous ask, animation. No, that's you know? that's uh, like a serious passing the buck. No, no, no. But but I think they're saying Verizon is saying don't bring us a stock Android phone because we don't want it. I, I think they're saying Verizon saying you better come with something original or we can't market it in our crazy violent ad. Right. Right. And for a company like Motorola, the the thought of Verizon saying no, we're not going to take that device is a pretty scary. That's one. That, that would be death to them. Right. No. I mean, Motorola was dead three year, two years ago. Yeah. Okay. And they've been saved by Android and Verizon. Well, and they're in no position. Well, wait, wait, wait! That they've been saved, they've been revitalized, but they have not actually been saved. I mean, they, they are still struggling. Well, they've been purchased. They, they, they've been purchased. They, but they, they they're conned going, their way they're going into survival. To be purchased. If that, if not hey, for that purchase, what's the difference between a, a con and a great business deal? The wording. Think about that. Just let but, that stew. Bye, everybody. For a second. <laughs> Uh, but, but let's 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 be very clear. Google tried to do the unlocked phone thing with the Nexus One, and even Google failed. Mm. So I don't think that Google buying Motorola really. Uh, Google wasn't really game. trying. They were just riffing. Right, but why would that? I mean, they were definitely they were definitely just like, well, let's try this out and see what happens. First of all, first of all, Google's public. Uh, public statement on this whole situation is that they're going to be hands off with Motorola, and for all I know, that's true. I, I still don't know that that's necessarily untrue. I think it's untrue. Uh, yeah, my yeah. gut, there's my gut speaking. You I think they're going to get more Nexus devices? I think that... Um, I don't know about that, but I, I think that they're going to 
I think why Motorola do they want to own, a lot of why do they stuff. own Motorola? Patents. Patents. Yeah. So definitely. they bought Motorola to own patents, and they're going to let them keep making the same phones. They've always made. to Google. Are What's that again? What is this? It's jump. Yeah. Jump. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What, do you think I, I, I just love the idea of like Sanjay Cha like and, and then Larry Page just making it rain. It's like very strange image. Actually Larry Page has a um a cannon he uses to make it rain. <laughs> So he doesn't you just like throw it out and of his And it's hand. hundreds on top yeah, of Yeah, it's like a, he like loads it up and, and, and there's it's a it's lever. It's on his own battleship. No, yeah. and he but pushes a phone. By the time the money comes out, it's just in a shred. <laughs> yeah. And he doesn't care. Well, it goes, it goes into space and kind of burns up, coming, re-entering the atmosphere. <laughs> so it's quite a powerful making it rain kind of thing. <laughs> it's in beta. Yeah, it's, 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 it's in beta, beta for like 30 years. You see how it feels, you yeah. know? What happens? What happens if we all make it rain with this cannon? <laughs> do, you, do you think... <laughs> That was just an accident. I wish I could retweet that right now, but I'm podcasting, so I can't. <laughs> to stop you. Yeah, what, it is the Verge cast. What, I wouldn't get too precious I'm, about it. We're professional here. Yeah, oh, we're really professional. Well, what, we're in a broadcast if, if style, the Galaxy, gentlemen. If right. the Galaxy Nexus does a lot better than those other fo- the other stock phones, uh, do you think that might change some people's minds? I don't think so, because uh, Ver- Verizon, no. Verizon still looks at it as a, as a very... Uh, e- each product, each device is a very siloed... Uh, device. I, I think that they look at each each phone in a vacuum, and I, I, I really don't think. Uh, to be honest, I see Sanjay's point. I think that that is the message that carriers are de- are delivering to him. I don't think that he was. Wait, wait. If you see each phone in a vacuum, why do you need to differentiate? Be- because. Touche. Because. <laughs> Just when, when <laughs> get out. <laughs> why don't you I, come I, back when you have some real information? <laughs> <laughs> instead, of your, instead of these these wow. empty. He's empty. Uh, you can totally distract him if you promise to get pregnant, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Joanna did it to great effect. Go ahead. <laughs> Just don't do it. I will. Mark my words, I will be pregnant by the time I leave Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, with an ice cream sandwich. Will you let your children use the OLPCs? With, or with or a Motorola, ones? with a Motorola well, ice cream sandwich. That's, that's way out of my wheelhouse. I'm not equipped to answer that. Yeah, go ahead. What were you saying? Um, I have no idea, Josh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be very, very Differentiation. Uh, yeah. uh, Give me back on Vacuum. Track, Every, every, every phone in a vacuum. vacuum. Okay, right, right. So, um, so I, I, I think that the Galaxy Nexus and the Nexus line in general is a very specific case uh, for Verizon and for other carriers. And it's almost like the iPhone in that uh, there's a lot of pressure on the part of the four nationals to carry Google's flagship product. And there's a lot of reluctance. I don't think that Verizon... I mean, look at the marketing campaign that Verizon put forth for the Galaxy Nexus versus the Droid Razor, for example. Mm-hmm. They, uh, Verizon put out like three like feature-length movies for the Droid Razor, featuring right. exploding motorcycles and, well, and dudes, yeah. and you know. And, and this and, is this is the whole thing: is is that a stock phone has never gotten a fair shake? So how can they be so sure? Well, well keep in mind, he, here's the other part of that equation: well, oh. is that a stock device cuts completely cuts. Of Verizon out of the uh, the ARPU picture, the the, the revenue picture. So um, it, you know, beyond the plan, they're screwed, mm-hmm. and and they want to minimize that as much as they can. <laughs> they're so they're so screwed because they're only getting $150 a month. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. I mean, yeah, exactly. But how does that cut them say. out of the picture? Uh, I'm sorry, what? How does the stock phone cut them out of the picture? Because they're not getting uh, the, the phone isn't filled with crap. No, no, but uh, why, why can't you? No, no, no. My argument is not you can fill the phone with crap. Put the crap on there. Those are Please. just apps. Yeah, they're apps. They're right. APKs. They don't affect exactly the like, operation like of the on phone. Windows. Right. So put the crapware on there and let me have the option to delete it or use yeah. it. And I would say most people probably end up using it. But don't reskin the phone, change the way it operates, change the mail client, and do all this. I mean, I know they have. To, I know there's this exchange issue, but let's say they include an exchange client. Don't change the basic operation of the phone. And that was my argument today when we right. were talking was smart actions is great, but isn't a some kind of crazy system level thing that cannot be done as an APK. They, they have it as an APK in the market. You can download it for, you know, the appropriate yeah. Motorola devices. So the issue is and, and, and what they what, what Sanjay basically said was we there are pressures from carriers to differentiate. And we're not driving. But you know this. what I think is, at the end of the day, I mean, we've had this conversation a hundred times. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, that means there is a huge gulf between what consumers want and what the market is actually dictating for these right. devices. Well, there's a lot and of what the, there's a lot what of the trickery. Manufacturers are doing. That's overreaching. Consumers don't know what they want. To no. be very fair. No, no, that's exactly right. And Steve Jobs said this. 
and 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 so did so did uh, Henry no. Ford. Well, I mean, essentially, there's, yeah, which is right. his, his quote. In, and, and by the way, I know this because we talked to Ford tonight, but the quote is something like if, if you know, I ask customers what they want, they'd say a faster horse. Yeah, no, that's right? fine. That's that's not what I mean. Not at that level. Like, yeah. the consumer is going to mail you a picture of what they really want. I'm saying these skins, the over jog touch, jog touch. Yeah. I'm saying there's not a if the carriers are saying we want this, we don't want that. That's not they're They're placing a barrier. Between. I think the carriers are saying make it different. I don't even think they're being so specific. No, I think they're being really specific. I don't think so. I think they're saying make it different. But I, I think they're being very specific. Yeah, I disagree. I, I mean, I've heard really they're being specific yeah. about about yeah. LG and HTC. Yeah, and yeah. They order the phones basically. Right. Then they they build them like, the like on a fast food menu. The, yeah, the, look, the nationals I mean, absolutely do. The regionals don't. They 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 pick. Forget about the regionals. These guys scraps. are just yeah exactly. But the, the but Verizon, AT and T, T Mobile, Sprint. They're Sprint. Kind of ordering fast food. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. And they're ordering are they, crap. Are they ordering? They're having a very unhealthy diet. They're ordering. Like, look, you got to get all this crap on there. Or or do they no, say they like feature changes? Or no, I know, but like, uh, is there a usability expert at the carrier level that like? Watch if there was. That's what, I, <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Like, and I think that's kind of what you were saying. Like, th there there are market forces that are dictating. Uh, you know, for for them to make a profit or a bigger profit, they need to put crap on their phones. But but there's nobody at, at the carrier who is responsible for this ultimate product because they made themselves responsible. Yeah, yeah, the, who is actually completely focused on delivering a well functioning, perfectly usable. Oh, you mean like like a really user. smart like. A designer who knows like, what yeah, people like. A yeah, you know why? like a Johnny Ive who works at the carrier. Yeah. That, the, the person that makes doesn't no exist. Sense. It, no, you know what? No, it, why it, it, does, it doesn't make sense, but if they put this, they put themselves on this no, pedestal, you know why? You, so they need You know to, why they're on the pedestal? Because the pedestal makes some money. Like, no, just, that's what I'm I saying. Mean, they, Obviously, they, they're like, they're they've decided this is the okay. model, so at least they should go ahead and do but good things. Let's consider something else, which no. is that... They have uh, no if, incentive to do that. If, if design and, and usability ruled supreme, the, the world would be rid of Comic Sans. You, 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 you think of how many signs... You know what? And what what a dream. You think, no, you, wait, 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 wait. How do you non-threatening,ly say... Wait, how do you, how do you tell... Look, how the can world you tell, needs passive-aggressive fonts, no, 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 okay? How can you tell, like, somebody how, has, somebody how, how has to remind you, you to what, close the refrigerator door in a jokey way. How can you, and that's what Comic Sans How can you for. tell what looks good if Comic Sans ceases to exist? Mm. Uh, uh, so you're saying every carrier needs one really crappy phone. Look, yeah. yeah, every carrier yeah. needs the um, Fascinate with Bing on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, the Continuum. Yeah. The, the one with the ticker. Oh, right. The, the, oh, remember that huge innovation? Yeah. What happened? I thought that was going to be it. Yeah. It was. No, well, Samsung was going to have an API for the little ICS. thing. ICS. Touchscreen buttons. Yeah. They got that from the Continuum. That's right. They ripped it off. <laughs> Google's from the Samsung and, Continuum. Andy Rubin was like, "That, that's what so, we need." Yeah, do that. <laughs> no multi-touch, but I want that. <laughs> yeah, go on. Do you want to talk about? Uh, you talked to Stephen. Well, Elon? oh yeah, yeah. Hold on, wait. But I wanted to just quickly talk about Sanjay Jha. The other things that he said was really interesting. Um, he said so they don't want to. They don't want a bunch of unskinned phones. Um, they also said they're going to make fewer phones in mm -hmm. the coming year. That's exciting. Well, it is exciting because what it means is that the industry is waking up to what we know to be true. It's by editorial. Yes. Which is... Sanjay was like... Good job, is, yeah. Not, not, only, not only is the demand not there, but you are selling yourself short as a, make, a phone maker if you're like every iterate... You're like, we could make the screen one inch bigger. Or that's actually no, big. No, no. Point, point one. one inch bigger. Right. Let's make a new phone on that. One inch would be a huge. But, but like it's like... We found a way to um, have a ripple back instead of a curvy back. Like, you know what I mean? It's like every innovation, they keep issuing a new phone. I think they're starting to realize that that doesn't exactly work in the market at this point. Right. Yeah. And it won't, I don't think it will work for a long time. And I don't, I mean, phones aren't laptops. <laughs> laptops aren't Trucks cars. are not motorcycles. <laughs> motorcycles are not cars. So, well, no, but, but, but but phones aren't, they're not, it's not the same thing that we've been playing that same game. It's the same thing with tablets. Sanjay just said, you go into a store and there's 24, they're exactly the same Android tablets and nobody's buying them. Chris, can you say the gist of your editorial in case people I, haven't read it? I, yeah, I, I, I would love to actually, which the, 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 the main overarching theme in that ed editorial is that by releasing a new device every two to three months, you're alienating your best customers. You're, you're, you're saying to the... To, to the people who are supporting your brand and supporting your products, F you. But you know what? It's funny. <laughs> Motorola said that today, right? Sanjay was like, we want to put out fewer phones. Yeah. 
what he's doing at this show is giving the finger to everybody who just bought a razor because they yes. put out the razor max exactly and right? it, yes. are you kidding me well i think i put out the droid four but i think that's part of but i think that's part of the droid but i think this is part of their ebbing uh droid 17 but i think this is part of their ebbing situation in yeah. the sense that they have been just iterative and tiny changes and just so many but how phones. Do you, but you don't accident your way into the Razor Max. You're not like, oh, that's the end no, of the No, I think they did. I think that's exactly what they did. I think they, He they talked were, about it, actually. He did. He said, an engineer said, hey, what if we made the back like this? We could do... And then he was like, what's the battery? And it was like 3,300 milliamps. And he freaked out or somebody freaked mm. out and said, that's awesome. And it's for the power users, right? But I think that, but I think that we're at the tail end of that, for them at least, mm. with him saying... We recognize the Droid Bionic, the Droid Razor, the Droid 4, the Razor Max in the span of three or four months or something is an untenable way to run their business, their yeah. phone business. Because the truth is, there aren't enough people out there to support it. What they really need is like a low-end device, a high-end device, about this once, really about once a year, that. maybe twice mm-hmm. maximum. Well, yeah. no, I think, I think you could legitimately do a low-end device and then two high-end devices. A couple form factors. Yeah, like keyboard, Maybe no keyboard. Maybe do keyboard, no keyboard. Right. But, but we're talking about substantial differences. Right. Not like this one's thin, this one's slightly less thin. Because mm-hmm. that's not substantial and consumers mm-hmm. aren't going to buy into that. And, the, right. and this, this phone has yeah. ever slanting corners. Right. Yeah. Because Soon there'll just be a triangle. <laughs> right. Did anybody grill Sanjay on these horrible corners? No. What's wrong with the corners? He grilled himself. Really? He, yes. He, he, said, uh, he said, in retrospect, I wish we had, we had made the, the, uh, the razor a little less edgy. And, I think and, he, meant, he meant the curve on the back where, where it comes up so extreme right. on, the, on the camera. Mm-hmm. And, and I think he actually to... was saying that he wishes it was more like the Max in right. the sense that you can, it, doesn't, it feels like a continuous piece yeah. Yeah. instead of this okay. kind of weird break. Yeah. But... I don't find a problem with the corners. I seriously, I, w- I would Chris not. Chris has a hammerhead. I would yeah. never buy a device with those corners. Why? Because it's going to be dated. came out with the best phone in the world. I would not buy a device with the corners that they have on the Zyboard, on the Razor, like they're putting on all you're, their you're devices. You're cutting yourself accidentally. Nobody no, cares I'm, t- I'm tired of, like, weird oblique angles. Why? Well, I Maybe mean, those angles are important. Well, that that is... No, that it's, is, it's, it's the essence of, of the, a useless thing. Yes, that is the perfect example of meaningless differentiation. Yes. Where they're like, well, well we, but they didn't, they didn't change the edges to differentiate. They changed it because that's their design language. No, no, no. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's, it's purely aesthetic enough. and not at all functional. Right. Well, uh, lots of things are purely aesthetic I mean, and not like, at all functional. Like the glass back on the iPhone 4. Yeah. Right, but, but purely aesthetic and not at all functional. Unless you consider. Well, no, there's no functionality to it whatsoever. Well, I, I, think, but, I think what Paul's getting at is that there's also an aspect it's of, a, of simplicity. It's a superfluous aesthetic. Right. It's not a simple yeah, but, design. But, but design, you can't argue that, that superfluous design, that, that, that a design element is superfluous just because no. you don't think it needs to be no, there. The well, ultimate to, example, to my eye, it's superfluous, so, so, so it is. It's like the yeah, on a 50s Cadillac. Cadillac. Yeah, but that's your, superfluous design. Yes, no, that's but what it is. It is. But that's exactly what it is. But it is what makes it iconic. It's totally a tail fin. Sure. Are nothing, you kidding me? There's if nothing you took the tail fins off of the Cadillac. Well, the Zyboard is not. Yeah. Iconic. If you took those tail fins off, it would be. It would look like a different, totally different you're, car. You're, you're, 50, yeah. Fifty years from now, you're gonna have kids fixing up an old yeah, beater Zyboard. <laughs> <laughs> like, and they, they bring it to school. They have a ratchet. And, and they like, like, hey guys, and they like no, but pull I, it out. I, 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 I don't know. Argument. Work. And by the way, I'm not saying that I like the edges, but I will say that. Design is design. And, it's, and consistent it's either, design well, language is like that. Nice. But it's they either... It. So no, you don't it, like it. No, but it's, but it's either good, like, it's either good or bad. I mean, I, that's actually, all there is to this it. This is an awesome segue into Nokia because I love the Lumia 900. We yes. should talk about Nokia. So you interviewed Elop today. Wait, Sanjay just said one other... You interviewed Elop today. Wait, Sanjay just said one other thing I want to talk about. <laughs> okay. We cannot... He said Chrome... He said Chrome... Like, he said yeah. Chrome yep. On the web top. Chrome is coming to web top. That's hot. And it, like, casually. It was so weird. We were like... Uh, we said. Um, I've asked Monroe that question so many we times. We said I was I was just bitching about the software, and I said, you know, the software's not good. You know, are you going to put Chrome on them? And he's like, that's coming. We'll continue to offer a Firefox option or something like that. And, and more generally, he said that um, ICS enables a number of things that's going to make the web top experience yeah, more, more fluid. fluid. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So uh, I don't, but I don't understand the Firefox offering. So yeah. Why don't you conti- continue to not offer that? How about yeah. that yeah. as an option? That's, that would no, be but so idea. so segueing into Nokia. Mm. Um, Okay. Uh, Say we know, yeah. I did an interview with, uh, well, we saw the N900, no, the Lumia 900. The N900 is the Mego device. (laughs) Yes. That's Um, rough. Well, it's their fault they made it. I just, you know, I got to kiss that goodbye. 
You really I just do. gotta save for well. It's they, Tyson now. Tyson. Tyson. No, that's actually Harmonton. Well, no, no, no. The N9 is Harmonton. <laughs> right, no, right, right. no, we can't get so, 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 so Nokia introduced the uh, Lumia 900, and um, we had an interview with Stephen Elop today. And how'd it go? I mean, what's he, he like? was? He was. I think. I think he's legitimately psyched about these devices. But what's interesting is that what, what I think. What I thought was interesting was that. Um, he, we also interviewed Aaron Woodman today. Did that go up? I don't, I don't know if it did. So. We've I seen have. so many. Yeah. It didn't go up? <laughs> no, I don't believe so. Well, we interviewed Aaron Woodman from, from Microsoft. It'll be up by the time these people are Yeah, yeah, it. by the time you guys do this. <laughs> um, but, but he said uh, that what I thought was most interesting is that some of the innovations in Mego, they were looking at, they would consider as you know, something they wanted to bring to mm -hmm. uh, uh, Windows Phone. Yeah. And... I feel like that's. I know he may have said stuff along those lines before, but it was he was very candid about the the fact that they he thought there was a lot of innovation there, and they weren't putting that necessarily to bed, and they would be looking at it. Um, but the other thing, the things he had trouble answering were why is this the real Windows Phone mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to HTC or Samsung? His answer was because Nokia is fully focused on it, but that doesn't it kind of skirts the issue, which is he's basically trying to to. to say that Samsung and HTC and LG are making, they're not the real thing. Mm -hmm. And so they're he's, making he's the, saying, the, uh, the genuine article. He's saying because Nokia is the only company entirely focused. Entirely focused on it, yeah. Except for back except when for, they were making that Mego phone. Right. And, and, and the, yeah, simultaneously exactly. with that. Phone. And they're still selling like Symbian devices. Right. Yeah. So, but other than but that. But other than that stuff, it's <laughs> completely their laser focus. Uh, but he seems legitimately excited and the only thing I, I walked away from was that uh, you know, they really think they've got, this is their, he was, they, everybody's reluctant to call it their Halo device, but this is clearly the Windows Phone Halo device. Right. But uh, I, I wanted to talk, I wanted to have a longer conversation. I think he's got a lot more to say. And I, and, but I'll say for Nokia, it's a big deal to have a guy in charge who seems legitimately invested in what they're making. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't think they've had that for a long time. They I think have. They have really, no, but they were legitimately invested in things that, that were obviously not going the way they, in their minds, they thought they were supposed right. to be going. And I think it's a dangerous, there's a dangerous difference between liking something and trying to get it to go in the right direction and liking something, trying to get it to go in the right direction, it's not going in the right direction and not seeing that. Mm -hmm. So we don't know, Elop has it, we haven't, we have yet to test him yeah. to see if he's seen it or not. You know, hopefully it goes in the right direction because competition but, So it is sounds good. like you like kind of broke down a little bit. I mean, we, we, there was a period of broing down. No, I mean, we had a, we had a brief interview. Did you fist bump? We fist pumped a few times. <laughs> but, uh, no, but, the, but the, the thing is that he, he's, he's fairly down to earth when you talk to him. And yeah. I thought that um, his attitude about, the, I mean, there was some PR stuff, you know, some scripted stuff. Yeah. But I think that generally he was fairly loose and talkative about the device and, and their strategy. And they seem really happy to be back doing a North American device, mm -hmm. you know, and they recognize the importance of North America. Well, so are, are they bringing something to Mobile World Congress? The, well, they haven't said. Well, uh, he intimated that this, you know, he keeps saying this is just one of many right. things. Microsoft yeah. is going to have big announcements, right? Uh, they haven't said either. Uh, I mean, guess, the, my guess like is that they were, are going to do belief. a new yeah. version. The, the, yeah. the thing is that, that the, the Lumia 900 not the N900. Nice, the nice, nice job. Like, is just coming out, and then Mobile World Congress is going to happen. Like, like these specs are getting really stale. Yeah, yeah. especially, especially the screen. No, right. the, the, the resolution and the display. I mean, the, the Nokia display looks, what is it called? Pure clear black. black. Clear black. It looks clear black. Not, what was our thing? Sure, sure black. black. <laughs> it looks really, really good. But yeah, up, I, I, up, I, but it's the like resolution. I have, yeah. I have to well, say, I'm really drinking the, the Microsoft Kool-Aid of specs not mattering with, with these phones. Right. Because every time I've used a Windows phone, going all the way back to the original launch last November, uh, with the exception of this round. Um, Best phone the, ever. Uh, it, Everything feels so fluid. It, it, the, the, the software is so well matched to the hardware that I think that makes a big difference. That's, right. one, that's one thing that has really hurt Android from the beginning is the fact that the, the software is so decoupled from the hardware that um, even extremely high-spec phones 
are quite often stuttery, right? Mm -hmm. We've seen it on 1.5 gigahertz dual well, core phones. And, yeah. and that's, I mean, that's in the basic UI Windows Phone, but when you're launching apps and the, you know, the game performance is pretty low right now. Really though? I mean, like there's some really good Xbox Live games on, on Windows Phone. Yeah, there's some okay Xbox Live yeah. games. I mean, they, they, there they were some new they, ones they, announced this week I want to check out. They yeah. should be solving for, they should be solving for a real-time multiplayer. I and mean, that's ridiculous. They're, they they own Xbox Live. It's the most popular multiplayer gaming service in the world. There's a ton of those apps on and, iPhone. And, and, and there's no reason why they can't do phone versions of apps that you can play against people who are on a console. So do you I think mean, we'll there's see, so, many, so much opportunity. So you think we'll see it the next generation chassis in the world Congress? Well, I mean, where are they going to, where's the Skype integration? Yeah. You right. know, I don't know. But, but what I would say they need to do, next generation chassis, next generation software, which includes Skype integration, you know, better multitasking notifications, which I think is still rough on, on yeah. the platform, and uh, and better heart. Uh, well, I said better chassis. Better screen, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the screen, but but also um, there's something else I've completely blanked on it. But I think they need to they need to jog it, touch, jog touch. touch. It's not that they're not at a competitive level, but they're not at the. I don't think they're at lust level. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. When I when I was like, oh, the, the Galaxy X has a 720p display. That to me was a a bump. Yeah. And I know there's this argument about this and that, you know, the technology. It looks better than every other 800 by 480 screen <laughs> it, it, I've used. Go ahead. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I, I spoke with Chris Weber uh, today, and we'll have that interview up soon, too. He is the president of uh, Nokia's North American Operations. And he made a very interesting point to me, which is that you have that Cyan Lumia 900 in the, in the store, right? You have so many people that are walking in the store, they don't know what they want. They're gonna, they're gonna you know, just look at the phones and pick what, what looks good or they're, they're gonna buy what the, the sales rep tells them to buy. So they see that Cyan uh, Lumia 900, it looks freaking awesome. And even if you don't buy it, even if you end up going up to the, the counter and saying, yeah, I, that's a little dangerous for me, I'm gonna get the black. Mm -hmm. It's that, that blue phone, that bright blue phone on the shelf that talked you into the Lumia. And I think that's, a, that's a, hmm. an interesting play. Well, I think that it's the the question is how many people are really psyched about a bright blue I, Lumia, and I well, think that it, number it, is it actually tracks your eyes though. I, I think well, I think yeah, but then you play with a pretty phone. weak argument. I think I mean, Android might have done that a little bit with like the large screen. It's not so much that uh, because I don't like that, using that's a good point a large screen. But but man, in a store, you're gonna notice that. It's huge true. Screen. It's true. You're looking at the different phones, and all of a sudden you see a, a 4.3 inch next to the 3.5, and it's a notable difference. Yeah. But, I mean, I, we. It's not a notable difference anymore. It's not a notable difference anymore. Why are you crying? Except for the note. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> it's it's just. I mean, I we keep talking about Android. Like Android as a whole is successful with these strategies. It's Samsung. Samsung is the company that's no, successful with these strategies. I think Motorola. Motorola, is, Motorola, Motorola is blazed. Struggling. Motorola blazed the path of the large screen. But they screen had a now. lot of Five, phones out there. <laughs> what other metrics do you measure performance on? The yeah, company is struggling. I mean, I like HTC is struggling. Right, the only the company that's I would winning, say struggling. they're I mean, struggling. No, they're doing okay. No, latest quarter is a little they're, negative. They're, yeah, but we've had a no, no, but but the entire economy is taking except for Samsung, which is blown up. Best I mean, quarter ever. <laughs> I mean, there's one company that's really succeeding with Android. It's Samsung. Yeah. The other companies, they had an accelerated growth curve because it was a new platform. People were switching to smartphones. Yep, Motorola but, was on Verizon. You can you can start saying doom and gloom for Android after. I'm not saying doom and gloom for Android. No, okay, what are not you as the that? platform. I'm saying doom and gloom for Motorola and, and I'm saying HGC. I'm saying there's one company that is like, these strategies have worked for one company. It's not for Android. No, and I think that's we really don't, it's important. Too early. It's too early to call this. Uh, it's been like two years. Sure. I mean, what technologies can you call it two years? Webos. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's part of this. That's part of this. By the way, how awesome yeah. would it be if yeah, the last what, MCS? What, what like, technologies that like, are, are I mean, the vast can, majority of smartphones now. sold in the world? Can you call it two years? No, I'm not saying that. I mean, I, I just want us to be in, more in careful when we talk in, about in like, new, what Android is doing or how Android no, is but succeeding. In new, but in to new be real worlds, no, but if you look at the aggregate, you don't look at, you know, you don't look at this quarter as the, as the, uh, when you look but the at. the curve for HEC didn't just go like this. It's been going like this. When you, well, okay, fine. For, and and same for if Motorola. If it continues like that, then we'll know that it, that, yeah. that piece of it has failed. But you have to look at a longer Sure. Is somebody playing Party Rock Anthem right now? I hear it. No, you're just hearing no, it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing it. Somebody's out here playing it. Um, <laughs> it's but the I, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying that, 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 that you need to watch a longer curve than Fair one enough. or two years. So you've worn... Or one or, one or two quarters. It's, 
But I still think they're doomed. Don't get me wrong. They're doomed. Wait, HCC? Yeah. Uh, that their profits have been down? Yeah, they've been trending. No, weren't they up last quarter? No. The, the most recent quarter, uh, quarter, they were down year over year by a lot. By a lot. Like, I was just saying it's... Well, we're in a recession. <laughs> sure. And then they excuse from you. You may be right. I, I you know, no well, you know who I'm bullish on? LG. The worst skin ever. See, you know, see. actually, can I, can, can I talk about two pieces of news? I know we're... Yeah, we, we have to wrap up. I want to talk about two last pieces of news, one of which I think is totally stealth, but a huge... Huge piece of news out of the CS. Um, but actually, real quick on LG. Yeah. I think it's really interesting that their Android phone skin is a totally unmitigated disaster. It's like the ugliest thing I've ever seen. But their Google TV skin is like, oh, that's kind of refined. It's kind of elegant. <laughs> it's like, where, where have these guys been? <laughs> Why didn't you just have them make the phone? Uh, you're, but their remote, you're asking for a miracle, I think. Their remote is really wonky and bad. I'm not getting into remote discussion. Anyway, uh, you know, I night. talked to uh, to Rishi Chander, who's the head of Google TV today, and I was and like, "What's with these remotes?" And he's like, "I don't know. We have to figure it out." And it, he was like, "Well, the big pieces Google are searching." Google TV is, is, is an unmitigated disaster. Let's be honest. No, it's the, I think it's one of the stories of the show, man. I mean, they all have them. They're you all, mean that, that, that someone's doing another Google TV? They're all pushing it. This, this it was is, an abject failure. Out of it game. was an abject, and everybody admits it totally. But this is no, like, no, just, admitting, no just being magnanimous about the fact that you blew it. Yeah. Or whatever the emotion. I mean, I is it in, the reaction. But but whatever, being like, yeah, you know, we blew it doesn't mean that somehow you've, like, captured some special moment of success. Port, forthcoming? Is that what you meant to say? Forthcoming about you blew it? Yeah, Maybe, not yeah, magnanimous. forthcoming, not yeah. magnanimous. That's just like being really generous. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> forthcoming about the fact, like, yeah, you know what, we screwed it up. That's like saying, like, yeah, you know, I, I killed that guy in a hit and run. I, I wasn't really paying attention where I was going. But I'm getting back behind the wheel. Yeah, but I'm going to get back. <laughs> but you know what, the guy's dead. You <laughs> killed him, and you could never take that back. Yeah. That's what Google TV is. But, but it's no different from the Android phone, right? I mean, the, the G1 no. was not a runaway success. No, but it, wasn't, it was also wasn't a, a huge failure. It's true. Right? It's true. There's a difference between <laughs> not a success and a failure. And, and what we saw with the G1 was that the, the uptake was slow, but people weren't like, this thing blows. Get it out of my face. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> true. Well, there were only two things about the first Google TV that were really terrible. Well, three, right? Three. Well, four, really. You know, it was three. It was three very specific ones. One, uh, they didn't have apps, so everything came through Chrome, and all the networks blocked Chrome. Mm -hmm. Second, their performance was bad in general because they were on Intel processors and underpowered. Right. And third, they were utterly reliant on Flash. And flash but what about the IR blaster? Well, that, you know, that, that's all bad, but that's like... It was it was just bad and like constant. All of a sudden you're like oh glossing uh, over I that. Blaster, you love. I mean you love you, you, you probably spent four or five hours but collectively they, talking about the IR true. blaster. It's true. No, but Google I'm saying TV and how much you hate it. That's a problem, right? That's like I agree that that was a problem. That wasn't like a fatal flaw problem. That was this is clunky problem. This is revisionist history. Yeah, and yeah, th that's yeah, also uh, that's also an issue bizarre. with with the review specifically, <laughs> right? Not Google TV as a platform. No, it's it's a problem with Google TV as a platform. I'm saying like uh, if you, I. I thought I think IR blasters are stupid. I think that's okay. very clear. I don't but know. those three problems are fatal problems for everybody. Flash, flash, slow performance, no contact. And that makes that makes your platform better? dead. Is that what you're saying? They they have ad tried to address those problems. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. We but, all know that until until, and by the way, I saw Walt Mossberg earlier yeah. tonight, and we were talking about smart TVs, mm -hmm. and he was saying basically the same thing that we were saying. Walt wasn't talking about remotes. He wasn't talking about search and discovery. He was talking about the the higher blasters. He was talking about our no. He was saying he was saying you know the problem is the content. You can't get the content from the people who make it to the user because there's a bunch of bottlenecks in between it. Yeah, and that is unchanged. Google TV or no? Get out of my face. <laughs> we can't we can't have this entire conversation. No, we got right. we got to wrap I mean, up. One more piece of news. Yes, I actually go, think go. this is Please. ultraviolet. And I think this is a great movie. Uh, I think really underrated. You know, that, that, I agree. Bitch. Ultraviolet is uh, actually a lot of great karate you know, effects. I Ultraviolet is actually a bottleneck yeah, it tweak. It's a bottleneck tweak, but I'm telling you. Describe it. Uh, Ultraviolet is it's a centralized DRM system. Hollywood like basically decided they're all going to use the same DRM. Right. They want all of the retailers to use the same DRM. So like Bob's Bob's digital yeah, video so, store. Well, not Bob's. You buy from Walmart and you Walmart. have a device. Are you suggesting I walk into a physical store and then no, like, no, 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 no. put a flash drive in no, something no, no, no. and walk no. out with it? Well, maybe actually you could do that now. 
but I don't know but why it, you would. But a standard DRM for video. But a standard DRM for all video providers, right? Instead and, of Amazon and Apple but DRMs. But today they announced Amazon is supporting the standard. So you buy a movie from Amazon, you can play it back on any device that supports ultraviolet. You buy a movie from Walmart, you can play it back on any device that supports ultraviolet. That's notable. And they're doing this thing where uh, Samsung, their, their new Blu-ray players, you put in a DVD, it says we're authenticating the DVD, we're giving you a digital copy of ultraviolet DRM. If you want to up res it to HD, you pay quote a nominal fee. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows what that fee is. Five, yet. five, no. It'll be some no. five. No, five so if I, get, if I get a, if I get a, a player that has ultraviolet technology, yeah, I can put in one of my old DVDs. Yep. And it'll say you own you a this. Copy. You want the Blu-ray? Uh, so you want the HD version? I'll be another. $5. What if what if yeah. I what if I buy the that, DVD that from is, like a, that is a awesome. guy on the street? Right, and but I'm saying the, the, their problems thus far has been the the major players have been Apple and Amazon, mm -hmm. and if they don't get Apple and Amazon, nobody cares, right? Because you're not going to run out. Well, and they start, got they got Amazon. They got Amazon, and once you get Amazon, that means every other so retailer, goes Apple. I, I think not. Apple, but every other retailer <laughs> is, is going to run on board. Is this, this thing. primarily going to be movies, or is there a chance? Shows. Of, every, it's it's ultra violent. I mean, it's Warner Brothers. I mean, it's yeah, I mean do you think that, that, that solves one problem, which is like could this, when the movies are out, I can get them in a digital format. Could this be a Netflix uh, competitor in a way? They don't have rental yet, um, and they. And actually, I talked to somebody who works who works on the. Um, what happens if I borrow my friend's DVD? Just, I think they're just letting it go. Everybody has their own account. No, 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 no. Are they working on it? I can borrow, borrow, borrow a bunch of dollar DVDs and then pay like 15 bucks and get HD versions of those movies. I don't know how this is going to work in what, Yeah, so you should do that with Netflix DVDs. It, it must be one activation per DVD. Right, you can, get, a, you, can subscribe, product, right? Yeah. you can subscribe to Netflix yeah, they're and doing get the some, stuff ready. They're doing some authentic. And be like, I own this. They're like, yeah, $5, yeah. get the HD version they to are download doing, for yeah, as long the, as you the, want. The, the, the HD version is going to be 20 In, in the center of the DVD, yeah, there's like an optical also, barcode. And it's also, a also it's Netflix true. DVDs are like wholesale rental DVDs. They're not retail DVDs. Please stop countering my awesome plan with logic. I understand what you're saying. I know you wanted to end on that, but we got Razor Fiona. Oh, the gaming thing. Have yeah. you guys seen this? Can I, this can I just say why? Can I see it? I want to talk about it. it. Can I? But you I'm saying I, I was in a meeting huh. <laughs> with Sanjay Jha. Yeah. Have you seen this? What is it? It's, it's a tablet, but it has entire, joysticks on the side. It's a Core i7 really total gaming PC that is in a tablet form factor, and with joysticks on the side. It's a Wii U, but it's a PC. Allegedly designed by the OQO guys, as I understand it. Really? Yeah. Wow. And God knows that wasn't a total success. Are you getting one? <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. How much? No, I have no. Well, the problem is Razer comes out with these insane. Remember last year, ideas. Razer yeah, had some, and they, they never, they they never release yeah. them. And it turns out this isn't the final design. I think Razer not. may just be messing with us. <laughs> oh, That's but, my theory. But messing us with us in a really expensive, high-end yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. no, if you were, they're a billionaire troll. There's some like, guy. Like they, didn't, <laughs> they didn't put a Photoshop up on a wall of their booth. They, they like built this they thing. They didn't show off their graphics can, card like, by Sean running a played, video. Yeah. Sean played Warhammer. Uh, on this thing, it's got a 10 inch, like 1080 by 800 screen. It this is, it's really crazy, and and you know it, it's fun because like you can kind of do the Wii U thing. Hey, can why I talk don't about we just, that Intel thing for a second? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Because th there's been two stories out of the CS that have been completely over. And then we have to wrap. I know, but so the Intel thing, Intel did a demo what this morning, last night of Ultrabooks Gaming. DirectX 11. Mm. They faked the demo. Mm. They played a movie instead of him playing the game. Right. You like drove the car with no hands. He's like, it's running backstage. It's not working. Screw it. Mm. I would I would call it the Mac press jumped all over Intel for faking the demo, mm -hmm. right? For faking that they couldn't do what they said they were going to do. And then later on, they're like, no, we just did it because everybody lies during demos. And they showed uh, Anand Shimpy, who runs Anand Tech. They showed right. him th the game actually worked. Right, it definitely so, worked. So it's like shocking news: demos at CES get faked all the time. Yeah, there's, there's, right, of course, because you don't want it to glitch out while you're. Yeah, so like, crazy stuff happens. Like, it's when, like there's the actors Microsoft, on at the Microsoft stage lying at, CES. at the Microsoft keynote. They tried to show voice control, right? And it did didn't get it, right? And yeah. that that isn't indicative of every time you do it, but when you're on stage and there's a bunch you of want, radios want and weird stuff and going on, right? So, so that's one. Breaks. So that's one like crazy fake outrage story that's happening at CES. The other one. Uh, is this ridiculous Samsung swipe it story, which has been driving me crazy? Oh uh, God! But it just didn't. It, I mean, it's like, yeah. no, it's, it's like people are like people are like, people are like, like Samsung is. Can you describe? Yeah, it? I yeah. Mean, so there is a, a completely unsourced, like random investors blog post saying, 
Uh, I got an update to my Samsung Smart TV with this app called Swipe It. It's their competitor to AirPlay. It's right. called Swipe It. Ha ha ha, Samsung's copying Also Apple. at the bottom that he says Apple is yeah, going to buy Samsung. Here's my prediction, Apple's going to buy Samsung. Totally, everybody, the Mac press like runs I with mean, it. literally people, People were like sourcing laughing. this random dude. Yeah, straight as up if, sourcing. As if he was, was as if he was the uh, most the the most senior reporter at the Wall Street Journal. Yeah, you know, like like look at what's happening, and Apple's gonna buy Samsung, like you know, in bold lettering yeah. at the top of a page. It's a completely and so, but I, so I, erroneous, like that a completely came out. I called story. the company, like we called them, we talked to them. They're like. You know, we built this platform to run apps on. Samsung loves it's us. Been on stuff for like a year. Yeah, they wanted a competition for making yeah. smart TV apps. Mm-hmm. It's and Samsung's. They're like, we love it. They're promoting. Um, it. By the way, we're not defending it. But the yeah. point is, it's it. Does it have things that are similar to AirPlay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Every well, single company here. But has it, something. it's been around for a year. It's not new. It's been on Samsung devices. Yeah, it's just really weird. Yeah, Samsung doesn't issue devices for their AirPlay competitor. <laughs> doesn't issue. Sorry, doesn't issue updates on their devices. Like, you know, oh, it's a Tuesday yeah. night at 9.30. We're going to issue our AirPlay competitor to, <laughs> as an update to your smart TV. Yeah. It right before like our that. announcement. Yeah, right before CES. No, they come out on stage and they say, you like AirPlay, yeah. you're going to love, swipe it. But that yeah. didn't happen because this story is it's basically BS. Yeah. There, this has kind of been happening all week. I mean, I published this story of, of Acer actually actually doing a ripoff with, with Acer yeah. Cloud. Yeah. And, you know, Acer Cloud is its own thing, and it's a service, and it has whatever features right. they, that it has. But they use a slide that was clearly a, a direct copy I mean, of what Apple did. Blatant. And, and so for us, it was like, oh, this is a funny thing. Yeah. Like, they use the same slide. We put it up. It's been one of our biggest stories of CS yeah. because cause there's this sort of these cir- circling vultures of, of people who see CES as a vacuum of Apple news, mm-hmm. and they're just looking for reasons to hate that, on what's that's happening. That's one place and, where, and where it's a legitimate ripoff. That is, that is, yeah. that is. But, but some but of these is, other things. But it's still a service that they're running. Right. But I'll say like, this. We try to be, try to be critical, but, but I think there's, there's a lot of people out there that don't like CES because Apple's not here. Right. And, right. and they hate the other stuff that isn't Apple. Right. And because it's not Apple and because they're not getting their hit of Apple news, yeah. they're ready to just hate on it so you know, hard. But, 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 and we talked about this a little bit last night, and I think you know, we can wrap up on this point, but um, there, there's like this real backlash of like all this stuff is derivative and iterative and you know, it's, no, you're not you know, changing the game and blah, blah, blah. And mm-hmm. it's like things like ultraviolet and the, the the push of ultrabooks and these kind of hybridized ultrabook tablet things and the, right. what microsoft is talking about which is which i which was what clearly they're talking about is tablets that are you're doing these tablet apps on and then you dock somewhere and it becomes right. a windows pc you know people and, and i'm not a windows I, fan everybody knows that but i am interested in windows 8 i think it's a really i think it's a really potentially awesome operating system if they do it the right way um, if they get away from what Windows Seven feels like, but but in the Windows before, but but I think it's I think it's a really unfair, you know, technology I, is iterative. I think mm-hmm. I think it's a difference between being a, a, a technology enthusiast and being an Apple enthusiast. Right, yeah. and yeah. you can be a technology enthusiast and have mostly Apple products because you like them because that they're delivering yeah. the best technology, yeah. Yeah. or you can just blindly love Apple and hate anything that's not. I mean, Apple. I think I think the thing is that like an integrated, beautiful. Um, coherent, cohesive experience is great, and I love that. Well, you know what's actually really funny is that the most iterative company, the company that is the most successful being iterative, is Apple. Well, right, but Without in a different question. way. But, but their marketing is very different, and frankly, their products are very, very different sure. in terms of execution. But but the idea that, that like the only way the technology advances is through these breakthrough, revolutionary moments of utter beauty from Apple is a false, yeah. it's a false idea. And we know it's a false idea. We've seen it's a false idea. We're sitting and in the middle of. I mean, I'm, and I'm not cheer. And I'm, I'm not a false idea. I'm not. That's not right. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to cheerlead for any company here. But we're sitting at the Sony, you know, in the Sony area. Well, the Vita's the music Vita's, unlimited. The Vita is oh. back here. No, but like something like the yeah, Vita. No, Vita is great. Will push mobile gaming forward in an iterative way, not in a yeah. we've never seen this before way. But this will make Apple work harder to the, make their the next Vita phone is like better a, at gaming. Is a, a haters gonna hate sort of? Yeah, it is. 
that their whole commercial for this should just be that haters gonna hate animation of the, <laughs> the dude walking, <laughs> and, you know, guy. and that's it. Then he pulls out a Vita, <laughs> and that's the end of the commercial. That's a freebie soda. You can have that one. All right, we gotta wrap up. Uh, that is our podcast for tonight. You, that's you our verse cast for tonight. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night. <laughs> yes. From here? From here. From here. Yeah. Uh, and uh, talking about what we saw at CES. And uh, if you want to get in touch with us, you can. Any e- number of other things. And any number of other things like pregnancy and <laughs> drinking. But uh, if you want to get in touch with us, you can email us at podcast at uh, the verge. theverge.com. Thank called. you. I'm just so out of it. Uh, <laughs> you, can, you can leave a comment on the post when it goes up, or you can find us on Twitter. Yeah. I'm Joshua Topolsky. Neelai is Reckless. Paul is Future Paul. Uh, Chris Ziegler is Z Power, mm. and of course the site is at Verge. And Joanna, right and jo- uh, Joanna Stern is at Joanna Stern, yeah. and the site is at Verge. Uh, and we're ready for so any. So much Twitter. So we're all many. over Twitter. The tweets are just. If out you of just control. load up Twitter.com, you're probably. It's, all, it's just all us. Yeah. Anyway, that's it, and we'll be back uh, tomorrow night. So thanks for joining us. Rock and roll. Rock and roll indeed. Rock and roll to you. Rock and roll to you.